I'm currently on a bridge crossing the Ossum River. Behind me is the neighbourhood of Mangalem and ahead of me is the neighbourhood of Gerditsa. This place in Albania is notable for its many influences from past rulers including the Illyrian tribes that settled here thousands of years ago through the Byzantine Empire and more recently the Ottoman Turks. It is a great place and I'm looking forward to exploring. Welcome to Barat. Starting off today by walking around the Goritza district. The Mangalin neighborhood is just across the river. That's where I came from. My hotel is somewhere over there. And historically, historically Goritza was the Christian neighborhood and Mangalin across the other side was the Muslim neighborhood. These days the two faiths mix and I don't think there is such a thing as a Muslim or Christian area anymore. In 1967 during the communist regime here the communist party declared albania to be completely religious free religion free and therefore a lot of people over that period stopped practicing their faith many people didn't but a lot of people did and i guess these days it's fair to say that albania whilst it is a muslim majority country most of the people are non-practicing come up against the dead end so I think I'll head back that way so my plan to start off with here is just to take a walk around some of these little alleyways in the Goritza district <laughs> hello hello There are a lot of stray dogs here in the country. I'm not sure if this is one or whether it belongs to one of these houses, but none of them have been aggressive. In fact, most of them have been very friendly. They come and rub up against your leg. I think they're after food, of course, because if they're wild, then that's kind of, I'd imagine what they do. They figure out who the tourists are, who the people are more likely to give them the food. It looks like private up there. So I can't go that way. And also private that way. Certainly a dead end. I think I'll come down this way now. See if I can turn the corner. There we go, going down. So just a quick bit of trivia. The city of Barat has a population of around 60,000 people, but it's the town in the center that was listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in around about 2008. So the area that I'm in now, the area across the other side of the river, and also a castle up on the hill that I'll probably be able to show you as I head around this corner. Got some lemons growing here on a lemon tree. I think that's what they are. There we go. And then around here, is Goritza Bridge, a stone Ottoman bridge built originally in about 1780, but back when it was built originally, careful the motorcyclist, back when it was built, first of all, it was made of wood, and then it was replaced by this stone bridge in the 1920s. So I'm not sure if you can still call it an Ottoman bridge. And then up there, that's where I'm heading to later on today, you could see way up on the hill, lots of castles and temples, mosques and churches. And then back over there is where I started the video. So I'm gonna take a walk, I think. 
I'm going to take a walk across the bridge and head now towards the Mangalen district. That bridge is where I started out this morning recording the intro to the video. I took a walk along the Garissa district. Lots of brown roofed Ottoman buildings over there got lost in them alleyways, crossed the stone bridge and now I'm making my way up into the Mangalem district. Again these very narrow alleyways built onto the side of this hill and above me is the castle which is where I'm hoping to end up but before I get there I want to take a look at some of these Ottoman buildings up close because they are spectacular when you see them from a distance as you just did they're both sides of the river but when you view them close up they are something else very very distinctive you can see one up there let's go and see if I can get a better view feels like I'm walking through somebody's back garden. Maybe I am, maybe I've taken a wrong turn somewhere. I can see light at the end of the alleyway. That's a good sign. Hello. Wow. <laughs> wow. Good idea. <laughs> uh, England. Yes, England. Yes, yes. 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 Hello. Is there? Uh, no, no through rope. Oh, finish. Yes, thank you. Pretty nice little spot for eating your breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I'm really among the houses now. Incredible view. And uh, just saw a donkey bringing up a load of cement for the construction workers. There's no way you're going to get any vehicles up here. Not sure if this is open to the public. I'm guessing it is. There's no signs. Let's take a look to see what else we have up here. Trying to catch a view of some of these Ottoman houses. I'm kind of too close to it now. Here's one. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. So right next to this pretty new basketball court is a former palace. It's now just sitting here in ruins. But in times gone by, this was used as a pretty spectacular palace in its heyday it was twice the size twice as high i'm guessing it must have collapsed at some point in time but you still see these pillars that are or were previously supporting part of the side of the building this is a better view this time of the front and again you could see guessing that this over here on the left was the entrance pretty sure you can't get in there now no it has a padlock on the door keeping people out all right so I want to just head back into those little alleyways through that passageway there I think and take a look at some of these Ottoman houses a later addition to the houses here water tanks 
heaters, air conditioners, all sitting on steel work built above the premises. You can't say you blame them, it gets extremely hot here in the summer. And then this incredible facade here, covering over the alleyway. Old cobbled alleyways. And my goodness, that does look old. Draped in wiring. Oh. Yes. Is that up? As we would say in England, doing the donkey work, literally in that example. So these Ottoman houses built by the Ottoman Turks, sometime between the 15th and 19th centuries, I would guess that's when they ruled here. They're very distinctive because of their white facades, their small timber windows, timber doors, and traditional brownish tiles on the roofs. You can see some there, along with some stone chimneys. And as you look through the gap there, not only can you see the incredible view in the distance, but also these tiles in the foreground here, they do look a bit rickety. The plan now is to head up to Barat Castle. You can see it all over town. It's perched right up high on the tallest mountain in the area that's right next to the, the old town here. And so that's where I'm heading. Up, up, up. It's going to take about 20, 30 minutes. And I will see you when I get there. 